What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video bring a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to become a part of the Notification Squad. Also, after this video, be sure to check out my newest song. It's called Alone. The link will be in the pinned comment. Make sure you add that to your Spotify playlist. I think all of my fellow introverts will enjoy that song. Also, if you're an independent artist yourself and you want me to react to your song, hit my email in the description. We can make that happen. Today, the homie Dex just dropped a new visual, and this is called I'll Say It For You. Let's see what he got to say. I ain't gonna hold you up. I'll say it for you. Mm -hmm. Because I know many people can't say it for themselves. A lot of us have dreams but fear failure, so we never open our book and let them collect dust on our shelves. Mm. Come on, talk your talk right now, man. I gotta drop one real quick, man. Talk your talk. A lot of us, man, a lot of us, you know, we have family members or people that's close to us. They'll let you know right off the bat, like, you know, chasing your dreams, that's dumb. Go to college. Go get a nine to five. You know, like, there's no way you're going to be a, a superstar musical artist or there's no way you're going to be an athlete. That's like a one in a million chance type thing. But in reality, if that was the case, that wouldn't be a Michael Jordan. What if Michael Jordan didn't work hard every single day to get to the league. What if Drake never took the time to put out his music because he listened to everybody else? I, I think I, I, I seen an interview where he let somebody hear his music and they said, Drake, you can't sing. Now he's like one of the most biggest hip hop artists and is known for his singing. Like listening to people is like, I don't know, man. Like, like if you're passionate about something, chase after your dreams. And never give up, especially if you're passionate. I understand things come up, you know, bills, bills still coming. You know, you still got to work, you know, do that. But it's always time on the side for you to pursue your dreams and make those things happen. And then, I know a lot of y'all are probably like at the age where you just like, dang, like, am I ever going to make it? Should I just go ahead and put this to the side? You know, but that could be the time when you're the closest. We seeing it every day that people of of age that, you know, in their 30s, their 40s, you know, and just now making their dreams come true. But what would have happened if they would have gave up as soon as they turned 30? It would have never happened, right? You know, they would just been, you know, living their everyday lives. A lot of people living with regrets too, man. But let me let me stop rambling, man. Let me continue, man. But he... Touchy topic, bro. Touchy topic, man. Dreams but fear failure so we never open our book and let them collect dust on our shelves. Mm -hmm. You see, mine was basketball. And I made that decision when I was 12. I tried to write my path and God laughed because he knew I didn't know how to spell. So he gave me these words and with them I merged the gap between heaven and hell, reaching into the soul of a human being and pulling it out so they could see it and smell. I'll say it for you. If you're broken, beaten down, or soft-spoken to remind you that if you woke up this morning, you were chosen, and that if you're waiting for tomorrow, you'll always be dying because you're never living in the moment. I'll say it for you. Facts, man. That right there. I think he spoke about this on his last song that he just put out about not living in the moment and always thinking about tomorrow when tomorrow is not guaranteed. A lot of us, I mean, even me, you know, I, 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 I deal with, you know, always planning for tomorrow or the next day of what I got to do this week, what I got to do this year. But I'm, I'm never, you know, just in the moment and being thankful for being here, thankful for waking up. Like, that's... People die every single day, bro. Like, you never know when your time... Listen, man, I'm preaching. I'm sorry. But, hey. Tomorrow you'll always be dying because you're never living in the moment. I'll say it for you. Mm -hmm. And let them laugh when I speak. These people don't even... Boy, they gonna laugh. They gonna laugh until you make it happen. Then when it happens, then they like, oh, I been knew you was gonna make it. Uh. In the moment, I'll say it for you. And let them laugh when I speak. Mm -hmm. These people don't even know what's real in 2020 because they're stuck on the internet, which is just sheep leading sheep. I'll say it for you. If you've been hurt, if you're the only one on this planet Earth who could ever see your worth, if they convinced you that your gift was somehow a curse, if you've mistaken an accident for your birth, if you've been chosen last your whole life, and it's time you finish first, I'll say it for you. My boy preaching right now. Talk your talk. Drop one real quick. Hello, man. Your whole life, and it's time you finish first, I'll say it for you. 
and I don't even want the recognition. I'll say it for you. My boy passionate about what he do, man. I said for you March the 13th, so oh, oh okay, I see what he's doing. But hey man, all in all, man, I, I I love what he's doing. I love the message that he's he's pushing right now. It's just like live for the day, you know, cherish the things you have now, cherish the things around you, cherish the, the accomplishments that you know you accomplish. Like a lot of times, you know. We we accomplish goals and be like, damn, okay, you know, I I just uh, accomplished first place on this. I'm already thinking about the next instead of just sitting in the morning and being happy for what you just did. I know a lot of times, like, oh, I got a hundred thousand subscribers. Let me get two hundred. Oh, I got two hundred. Let me get half a meal. Let me get a. You know, you always thinking about the next thing, and then he's also talking about you know chasing your dreams and pursuing it and. And not listening to people. I mean, even close family members will tell you not to chase your dreams. I've had people close to me told me, no, I shouldn't be making music. Or I shouldn't do this. You know, that's that's not something that's going to be financially stable. But, but, you know, I'm here doing it. And I'm not saying I made it or nothing like that. I still got a long way to go. But it's happening. It's all coming together. And, and like I said, man, this this message right here, man, it, it's something that needs to be said. I feel like... He has a very young audience, and I feel like that they're, they're gonna hear this, and it's gonna inspire them to want to chase their dreams. I I, I always want people to chase their dreams, man, because you only got one life. Imagine that one life, and you swear to live your whole life working a nine to five and just paying bills to bills. Not saying that it's nothing wrong with that, man, because I get it. You know, things come up, and you have to, you know, you gotta pay, you gotta put food on the table, especially you got a family, you got kids. I do what you gotta do. If I had kids, you know, music wouldn't be my main thing. I would be wanting to, you know, try to put food on the table for my family and my kids and making sure they good. So I get that. But it's still time after work to do what you love. It's still those couple hours you get home and it's just like you're doing nothing. Take that time right there. Go go to the booth. You know, go to wherever, whatever you're doing, go paint that picture you always wanted to. You never know. That could be the picture that, that takes you to the top and somebody see it and you just sell it for a half a million. You never know, bro. Like any, like, uh, I, like dreams, man. You chase your dreams. You got to find a, a balance in, in life, man, because it, it, it can't be just working for the rest of your life, man. We only got one of these things. We only get one go around, bro. But, hey, man, like I said, I'm, I'm done preaching, man. My boy Dax didn't preach to y'all. But, hey, I'm done preaching <laughs> myself, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. My nine should be a video on my face. That's my newest song. It's called Alone. I just got to click the video on my face and take it to the song. Now, if you enjoy that song, smash the subscribe to my music channel, which is a separate channel for this. Now, listen, this is a song for all my introverts. So, if you're an introvert yourself, I think you will enjoy it. And we out. Salute, Crown family.